All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We're talking about the Cincinnati Bengals in tonight's video. Bengals fans, give me a nice sigh of relief. Not that it was an issue, not that we were thinking it could be an issue, um, but let's be real here. It's in everybody's back of their mind, whether you're a Bengals fan or not. Joe Burrow looked like Joe Burrow last night in your first preseason game against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Joe Burrow and the starting offense got to work. And folks, uh, this was, I, I just don't think it could have gone any better. Five to seven, 51 yards and a touchdown from Joe Burrow. That touchdown was to T. Higgins. Literally, the only thing to me that I want to see from the Cincinnati Bengals is just a contract extension for Mr. Jamar Chase. Because folks, Jamar Chase is one of the best wide receivers in the National Football League. You're the last team I need to tell that to. We're all aware of it. Pay the man, get him back in practice, get this guy out on the field so we can try. I just said we, I'm a Packers fan. So you guys can try and make the Super Bowl. Folks, welcome back to the channel. We're back here talking about the Bengals. Hit that like button, hit that sub button for daily NFL content, along with a couple of Bengals videos every single week. If we could try and get this video to 250 likes, folks, that would be absolutely money. And then also thank you to BetUS for sponsoring this video. We'll get to that in just a couple of minutes. Uh, the starting defense also got a little bit of some run here. Uh, <laughs> quick three and out. Quick three and out. So the Bengals' first team offense ran down the field, scored a touchdown, and then the first team defense hops out onto the field and they force a three and out. And then everyone hits the bench for some jokes, some interviews, and just watch the football game, enjoy themselves. Unfortunately, it was a 17 to 14 loss. Uh, and I say this in every video I make preseason recap and everyone always gets upset at it. Obviously, it doesn't matter a win or lose. But to me, folks, Seeing Joe Burrow being out there doing Joe Burrow things, he looks in control, he looks in command, he looked extremely good, he looked like Joe Burrow. And I was actually talking to an Uber driver about this yesterday. He was a Steelers fan, funny enough. And um, you know, I was telling him, man, like last year was the year to beat the Kansas City Chiefs. And it just sucks that Joe Burrow got injured in week 11. And we're about to run through this in just a second, but you know, we know the kryptonite for the Kansas City Chiefs is Joe Burrow and the, the Cincinnati Bengals. They're the kryptonite. And it just sucks that Joe Burrow got banged up last season. You know, it's been a crazy offseason. Uh, T. Higgins, you know, having that contract thing early on in the summer. It was just great. The first play of the game, T. Higgins, Joe Burrow connection, a little bit of a, you know, nice little slant route. And then at the end of the drive, a little touchdown. T. Higgins is really interesting because they drafted Jermaine Burton, who had a phenomenal fourth quarter, by the way. We'll talk about that later on in the video. But you have, you know, undisputed top five wide receiver in the National Football League. I would go top three in Jamar Chase. I'm a Packers fan, so Devontae Adams is always going to be number one on that list, in my opinion. But there's a very real case that Jamar Chase is the best wide receiver in the NFL. But T. Higgins, just like Joe Burrow and the Cincinnati Bengals' entire roster, it felt like last season. Michael Vick at BetUS.com. Catch an incredible 125% sign-up bonus on your first three deposits, plus 10% gambler's insurance. BetUS, my online sports book and casino. Injuries, and now you have the contract thing to start the summer off. It's just unideal. But T. Higgins kept his head high went through camp, went through the summer, and he's freaking T. Higgins, or at least he looked like T. Higgins last night. Now, granted, it was just one drive, but he had two catches for 19 yards and a touchdown on the night with the first string offense in one series. And then obviously we have Joe Burrow here. So at this point, folks, last year, Cincinnati Bengals quarterback, Mr. Joe Burrow, was fighting through a calf strain. That unfortunately affected him through the first, what, couple of weeks, couple of months of the regular season. And then he got injured in early on in the season. So this is his first game post wrist surgery. Launched a deep ball for T. Higgins. It was almost completed in double coverage. He was throwing just normal passes from Joe Burrow and then ultimately led to a red zone possession and he threw the touchdown to T Higgins but that wasn't the only positive I saw today or at this point it was yesterday I saw the game today though Andre Yosevash um emerging as wide receiver number three in wake of Tyler Boyd's you know departure to Tennessee folks you have 
Yul Shavas, and you have Jermaine Burton. Now, once again, we'll talk about Jermaine in just a second because he was a huge winner across the NFL, not only for a rookie wide receiver, but just a player in the first week of preseason across the National Football League. Yoshivas does everything right, whether it's blocking or making catches when his name is called. And we saw this exactly in training camp. We saw the headliners. We saw the comments. We saw everything, all the observations through training camp to this point. And then it led to this week or yesterday on the first drive of the game, a 23 yard catch on third down, which was awesome. Absolutely freaking huge. And while we're on the topic, let's talk about Jermaine Burton. So it was really interesting because he was put on the third string receiving group. He only had five snaps through the first three quarters. And then Zach Taylor said post game that it wasn't necessarily a Jermaine Burton thing. It was just that Jake Browning and the second string offense was suffering folks. Here's and you know, we saw Jake Browning in the second half when, when Joe Burrow got injured, you know, Jake Browning is one of the best backup quarterbacks in the league. This is no cause for concern, but here's just, here's, to give you an illustration of why the Cincinnati Bengals scored 14 points and why the second team offense struggled and why Jermaine Burton only had five snaps in the first three quarters, here is why. First possession, Jake Browning and the second team offense. Three catches, six yards, resulting in a punt. The second possession, three, yard, three plays, nine yards, and a punt. The third possession, three plays, nine yards, and a punt. The fourth possession, an interception on the first play. The fifth possession, nine plays, 34 yards, missed field goal. The fourth, the, I'm running out of count here. I think this is number six. Three plays, four yards, punt. Three plays, three yards, punt. So that was the second string offense. Uh, wasn't good. Chase Brown's getting a lot of flack for it. But at the end of the day, folks, it's just preseason football. I wouldn't look into it. And then Jermaine Burton came onto the scene, three catches, 82 yards, 38 yard catch, along with a touchdown. Folks, it was beautiful. And his 38 yarder on the Bengals final drive, that was contested. He said he keeps trying to emulate T Higgins in practice. And you know, he gave a great quote. He saw man coverage. It's a standard here to make big plays, especially when your number is called. I got two great leaders that set the standard for us and other receivers around me. There's a lot of pride when I see something like that. So it's T. Higgins and Jamar Chase, Joe Burrow. All these guys are already rubbing off on first round pick Jermaine Burton. Last year at Bama, he was the leading receiver with Jalen Milrow, 39 catches, 798 yards, eight touchdowns. I know that doesn't blow you away, but he averaged 20 and a half yards per reception. And folks, when we look at the Cincinnati Bengals, barely saw Joe Burrow, T. Higgins, and Jamar Chase on the on the field at the same time last season. I think it was like it was a really low number. Um they want more big time play guys and that looked exactly like what jermaine burton can do in the first preseason game i know it was just preseason but i loved everything i saw thank you guys for watching hit that like button hit that sub button for daily nfl content also thank you to bet us for sponsoring this video hit that like button but guys most importantly Give me your grade on Joe Burrow's first game back post-wrist surgery down below. I'm going to go A-freaking-plus, baby. Thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your weekend.